Hey, what's up, baby? John, aka Operation iDroid here, and welcome to my live reaction of One Punch Man episode 7. If you'd like to watch this episode with me, you can head over to Daisuki and watch the episode completely free by following this card right here or following the link in the description below. And we can watch this anime at the exact same time by following this little overlay right here and pretend like you're sitting right next to me and we're watching this anime together. I've really, really been enjoying One Punch Man and I cannot wait to start this episode. So hopefully you guys have yours up and ready to go because I'm going to be pressing play in three two one go all right so the episode has started of course always with the daisuke introduction daisuke is amazing for providing this for free for us like i cannot i cannot say that enough but um this episode is starting a bit ominous what is that just a giant meteor like coming towards the earth apparently this this is pretty serious. This is pretty serious right now. That's a massive meteorite to to be able to freaking to cover the whole moon like that. That's huge. It's the size of the moon. That's 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 pretty big. And I guess people people have a right to be worried. Oh, it's going to land on Z City. That's our boy Saitama City. Did it say that the course shifted like out of nowhere. Oh, yo, they call their boy Genos. <laughs> and he's just scratching his ass reading manga. Fucking classic Saitama. Oh, so I guess they're they want they want Genos to destroy the meteorite, which I'm sure he'll be able to do easily. Um, but yeah, seems like we have our issue for today's episode, and Genos is going to be the one to solve it this time? I don't know, this episode is called The Supreme Pupil. I'm not quite sure if that's referring to Genos, because, of course, we do know that he's the disciple of Saitama. So, I mean, it's really the only person I can think of that the episode name would refer to, unless there's another person that we don't know of. However, however... Freaking opening spoilers. I just saw Saitama outside of the Earth's atmosphere. Does that mean he's going to be the one to destroy the meteorite? I don't know. And for any science people out there, if I'm calling the meteor a meteorite, or if I'm getting it wrong, I remember learning this in school, but I don't remember which one's right. I know that one of them refers to if it actually makes impact with the Earth, and the other one refers to if it doesn't make impact with the Earth. So I'm not sure if it's technically a meteor right now or if it's a meteorite. And it's kind of, it's kind of irking me right now. So, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look it up. You know, you know what I mean? Like when, um, when like something like, when something's in your head and like you know the answer to it, but you're not exactly sure. So you have to look it up. That, that's what I'm doing right now with meteor. But anyways, if you guys are excited to start this episode of One Punch Man, then definitely, Hit that like button as it's greatly appreciated. Definitely helps out the video. And I'm surprised I have not gotten any ads in this in this One Punch Man episode. My name is Bang. His name is Bang. What the hell? Okay, so a meteor is if it enters the Earth's atmosphere and does not reach the ground. The more you know. Oh, what the hell? And a meteorite is if it strikes the Earth. There you go. The more you know. All right. So this guy, Bang, is an S-Class hero, and this meteor is a threat level dragon. I wonder what, like, rank Bang is in, like, S-Class Hero, like, rankings.
Wait, he said there's nothing we can do this time? Thirty minutes before it hits? That's not enough time for people to leave. And do they think that Genos can't they just like launch Genos up in a rocket and he just blasts it away? <laughs> Old fellow. Oh, oh snap! Yo, look at those moves, goddamn! He left. <laughs> Yeah, this is a pretty big deal right now. Threat level dragon. If you guys don't know about the threat levels, like apparently they show them in the opening. I was told the threat levels by a viewer who commented it in the uh, in the comment section. And there's like different levels of like threats. I don't even remember them, but I do remember that threat level dragon is pretty high up there. Although I don't think it's the the highest threat level, but I could be wrong. I don't remember. Oh, okay. Yeah, look at this man in his dove mode with the suitcase. All right. Okay. He just got new arms. All right. <laughs> Did you see him just flipping around? He literally just put on new arms. Okay. Yo, do you hear the song in the background? Wait, what the hell was that? Yo, this song in the back room, in the back room, back room, in the background is hype as hell. God damn. Who the heck is that? Bofoy? Oh, he's an S-Class hero. Yo, that, no lie, that guy looks like a, a Chrome Baymax. Oh, he's Class S rank 7. What the hell? What the hell? What a dick! Alright. It's actually pretty funny. They're both testing out new weapons. I will not. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yo, this music, god damn, this is fucking amazing. I am Metal Knight. <laughs> Not real names. Okay. Yo, fucking Genos. That's impressive. That's impressive. Won't that just make a ton of debris and just like cause even more damage? Or did he just in like obliterate the whole meteor itself? Oh, no, he didn't. Did, oh, crap. It, it, he just, like, did nothing to it. it. He just, like, stopped it in its tracks for a couple seconds. Yo, look at this man fucking calculating with his eyes. Okay. Yo, the change in music, too. Do you hear the buildup right now? This is about to be hype as hell. See, that's what I'm saying. Genos just said exactly what I said. The meteor may break apart and cause even more damage. Oh, hello, Bang is there? Yo, look how serious Bang's face is. God damn, yo, the shadow, the lighting right there, that was perfect. All right. <laughs> That reminded him of Saitama. That's actually hilarious. And he just ripped his shirt. 
I don't know if he really had to do that, but special effects. What the hell? Did he just put like his core in his arm? Okay. Okay? Okay? Did you see the animation there? Jesus! Yo, this is why One Punch Man is amazing. The fucking music in the background right now, accompanied by the sick ass animation, is fucking awesome, dude. <laughs> what a jackass! I think I see the meteor getting pushed back. Oh no, it was just my imagination. I'm sorry, I'm an old man. Oh, yo, so Genos did not come through. Fucking Genos. Yo, yeah, wh wh where's our boy Saitama when we need him? Let's be serious. <laughs> Let's be honest. There's no way in hell Saitama would let this happen. Let's be real. Yo. Dude, this is awesome. So now, the old man and, um... Metal Knight, or whatever the fuck that guy's name is, is gonna, are gonna see that Saitama's an actual fucking badass. You can finally get some recognition from two S-Class heroes. Yo. It's time. It's time. Yo! Look at this bald-ass headed missile, dude. Yo. This is fucking Saitama City, yo! This is his town. He's not gonna let a fucking meteor destroy that. Yo, that was some Superman type shit. Just going straight through the fucking meteor. He just flew through it. Yo. The fucking opening spoilers, dude. I knew that it was going to be Saitama that was going to come through. Oh, fuck. It still happened. The little pieces still came down. That fucking sucks. Damn, that fucking blows. I would ex you know what? That that's to be expected by Saitama. He's not that smart. <laughs> I fucking told you. Look at his face. He knows he fucked up. <laughs> Saitama's a jackass, and that was another sick ass mid episode animation. I love these animations, dog. Like the colors, the simplicity. It's so great. It's so good. Okay. Yeah. City got pretty fucked up. However, not as fucked up as it would have been if Saitama didn't step in. That that is true. Oh, hello, no one died. That's actually quite impressive. Not bad. And do you hear this piano in the background? Yo. I would not be surprised if people talk about the master for years to come. Too bad that I don't think Saitama is going to get recognition for this. Because... Oh, wait, what? Okay, so he is getting recognition, and they're... And people are talking shit because they st he still kind of, like, messed up the city? Yo, they moved up! They're moving up in the world! 17 to 16, okay. 7 to 6, alright. From C-Class 342 to C-Rank 5. <laughs> Look at his face! Yo! That's awesome! That's actually, like... Like, technically, Saitama should be an A or an S class hero, but at the same time, like, at least he moved up, dude. That's a that's quite impressive. Yo, Genos is totally like killing all of his vibe right now. Yo, do you hear this music in the background? Yo, okay, so they're finally going to explain the threat levels. Okay. 
Okay. Right, so there what there is one god above dragon. All right, so it's tiger, demon, dragon, god. Tiger, demon, dragon, god. Let's not forget that. Put that in the noggin. <laughs> Yo, look at Saitama with some inspirational ass shit. <laughs> and now Genos is writing an essay about it. Oh my god. Yo, Saitama's actually using his head now. That's why you tell Genos to stay home. I'm sorry, but I was just jamming out to that music in the background. That was excellent. Yo, okay, so he's out here. I think he was looking for more crimes to solve. But... <laughs> that crappy apartment building I got kicked out of is just fine. <laughs> it's hilarious. Oh, yo! This is the guy he beat the shit out of last episode. Saitama's memory is such trash. Wait, did you just call him brother? Oh, he's calling his brother. Who is his brother? Who the heck is this guy? <laughs> Tank Top Black Hole. Dude, these names are ridiculous. Well, what I was thinking is that I thought Saitama was going to come out here and, like, help rebuild stuff with, like, his super speed and super strength. That would definitely make him a more likable hero and put him up in the ranks for helping. Hello? Okay. What, what are you trying to say? Yo, see? That sucks ass. Like, Saitama can never do something right. Like, it's so, like, ah, it's so frustrating. Like, the, the, Saitama never gets the fucking credit he deserves. It's so ang- Look, see? This guy's just talking shit to him right in front of his face. Little do all these people know that if Saitama would not have punched that fucking meteor, there would be nothing left of City Z. Like, be happy that you have a fucked up City Z instead of a non-existent City Z. Yo, yo, Saitama never wins. The only thing Saitama wins in is being the strongest fucking man alive. Yo, do you hear the music in the background? Yo, this man is talking so much shit right now. This is when Saitama needs to step up and just rebuild the fucking city in a heartbeat. Like the fucking Flash, dog. Yo, but no joke, I like I, I always compliment the OST of One Punch Man, but yo, this song in the background right now, it's fucking amazing! It sets the mood so perfectly, like, slowly building up the townsfolk to hating Saitama and, like, building range. It's fucking awesome. Do you see how they're saying, like, a different word after give it up? I wonder what Saitama's gonna do. I don't think- I think Saitama is the type of person to get discouraged by this, but at the same time, I think that it will motivate him to do something more, like... I hope to God he does what I'm thinking. That's what he gets for cheating. Yeah, look at this man Genos on the forums. <laughs> I think if Gino said something and like backed Saitama up being like the most popular ass here we learned from last episode, that would definitely like increase Saitama's like reputation. If he were to say something, like step up and be like, yo, listen up you motherfuckers. Look, see, Bang knows too. Like if they were to step up and say something, like people would listen to them. They're S-class heroes.
Yo, and Bang actually recognizes Saitama. And he has a point. All right. <laughs> Yo, no joke. This guy is a fucking rat, but he's great as fucking like orchestrating the people and rallying them against Saitama. But he just fucked up in offering to fight both of them. However, even if these guys lose, that'll still make that'll still make Saitama look bad. However, they're still gonna get their ass kicked. Oh yo, Juno's just stepped in. Yo, the music. I love this fucking music. Twenty eight hundred PSI. It's actually pretty strong. If I'm not mistaken, I think a crocodile's bite is like 1,200 PSI or something along that. So that guy has some pretty strong hands. Oh, Jesus. And some big-ass hands. <laughs> He's playing mercy with the guy, dude. What? Hello? Hello? What? Hello, Saitama? Okay. Okay. Fucking Saitama, dog. Fucking Saitama, dog. That was inspirational. This man, Saitama, always knows the right thing to say at the right time, dog. Saitama's awesome. Fucking Saitama, yo. And the music in the background right now. Oh, yo, Genos. Yo, I love this song! <laughs> Did Saitama say you're creeping me out? Did I read that right? Yo, okay, so now I understand why the episode's called The Supreme Pupil. Because Genos is the fucking Supreme Pupil, dude. He's a great guy. And this was a great fucking episode, dude. Like, no joke, no joke, no joke. I really like this episode, and like... Don't get me wrong, I do think that Saitama does want the recognition of the people, but it's not that important to him, because we've seen in the past how, like, when Genos got a fan club, like, Saitama was, like, a little jealous, just like, damn, I wish I had a fan club too, but at the same time, the only reason Saitama decided to be a hero was for himself. He's a hero as a hobby. We all know this, but this hobby that he has has turned into a job now that he's part of this, like, hero association. But at the end of the day, he still started it as a hobby. So it doesn't matter what the fuck anybody else has to say about it. This man, Saitama, is doing it for himself and no one else. And that's, that's fucking quite inspirational, to be honest. Because, like, I can, I can relate with that. Like, I started YouTube as a, as a hobby, and it's turned into a job for me. And at the end of the day, I do YouTube because I want to help people, and I do YouTube because I enjoy it. It's a great hobby, and even if people talk shit, even if people say shit in the comment section, like, I'm still gonna do what I love because it's my hobby and I enjoy it. So shout out to Saitama for being so relatable, and just an incredible episode. As always, the animation, the music, and the comedy is on point, and I feel like the story continues to move forward as Saitama moves up in the C-Class. So, fucking awesome episode, and here we have the end of episode, like, little scene that we always get. Oh, fuck, yo, I think this is, this is the, like, monsters 
Oh no, never mind, never mind, never mind. I was gonna say I, I thought I think those are the monsters that are gathering under City Z, which they could be. They could definitely be. But apparently they're the deep sea kings like henchmen. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Great episode. I fucking enjoyed it if you didn't just get that from this BO I just did about hobbies and jobs. But uh <laughs> anyways, if you enjoyed watching this with me, definitely hit that like button. Um, it helps out the video very much and I appreciate it so much. Let me know your thoughts about this episode in the comments section below because I would love to hear what you guys have to say. Did you find this episode as relatable as I did? And I guess I'll see you guys next week for some more One Punch Man or in any of my other videos if that's your thing. And as always, thanks for watching this with me and keep being you.